Hey there, fellow educators. Are you looking for new and innovative ways to engage your students in the classroom? Well, you're in luck because in this video, I'm going to show you how to create a multi-level game that will have a student excited and eager to learn. For example, it might be a game where students have to pass the quest to unlock the door or answer all the questions to get the treasure. I'll walk you through the steps to create a multi-level game from start to finish, including the tools and features you'll need. Whether you're a seasoned educator or brand new teacher, this video is perfect for anyone who wants to take their classroom to the next level. So sit back, relax, and let's get started. In order to create a new activity in Interacti, you must first log in into your account. After you have signed in, click Create to get going. Let's choose Create from scratch option to see the whole process from the very beginning. This will take me to this page where I can start to customize our game. To create this game mechanic, we'll be utilizing the Interactive Image block. First, let's click on All Blocks and select Interactive Image from the drop-down menu on the left side you'll find several templates to choose from. I'm going to select this one, since it's simple and perfectly aligns with my idea. You can add another background picture later on, if needed. As you can see, this map displays three tags, each representing a different game. And since there are three marks, let's add three pages to our project. To accomplish this, click on the Add Page button, located on the left-hand menu. Add first page, second, and third. Excellent! Each page will serve as a separate game. Now we need to return to our initial page and establish links between the markers and pages. First of all, I select the first marker and then choose Internal page from the right-hand menu. We can link this tag with the page number 1. Excellent! Clicking on this marker will redirect the user to the page number 1. Then, we just need to repeat this process for the remaining markers. By connecting the second marker to the page number 2 and the third marker to the page number 3, users will be directed to the corresponding pages by clicking on the respective markers. Great, it's time to begin customizing our page. First, I will click on the page 1, as you can see it's empty now, and begin adding content. Next, I'll select the All Blocks option and choose the, let's say, Puzzle Game block. While you can create your own game from scratch, I'll use a pre-made template to save time. This simple one, for example. Once the puzzle game has been added to the page, clicking on the first marker will direct user to page 1, where they can access the game. Ok, but how we can get back to the main page? Well, that's a good question. To return to the main page, we can use a call to action button. To set this up, just check this box and insert the link to the home page. You can customize the button text to say back or something similar. This allows the user to easily return to the home page after playing the game. It's worth noting that you can set this button to link to any page, and this is just one of the several ways to create a back button. So let's repeat these steps to the next pages. Navigate to page 2 and add a new block, such as Hidden Objects game. You can create your own game based on the subject matter, but for the sake of this example, we will use hidden objects. Once the game is added to the page, create a call to action button to allow users to return to the main page.
Repeat the same process for the last page by adding a game. And a back button to direct users to the home page. You're almost done. Click the preview button to test your game and ensure everything works as intended. If you notice any mistakes, just click the editor button to go back and make changes. Once you're satisfied with your game, click the Publish button to make it available for your users to play. Thanks for watching and following along with this tutorial on creating a multi-level game. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to hit the subscribe button. Good luck with your classes, and we'll see you next one!